Welcome back to Thailand Today here on NBT World. Today, Ms. Butsadi Santipitak, Director General of the Department of Information and Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, will tell us about the Royal Coronation Ceremony, which is a historic event, uh, not only by the Thais, but uh, from the world, and it requires a comprehensive, intricate, and complicated procedures. So, Sonika. Sonika. Well, welcome to Thailand Today program, as usual. Thank you very much for having me on Thailand today. It's always a pleasure to come back. Thank you very much. And so, why are we in yellow? Many people have been asked for those tourists who just arrived into Thailand. Of course, uh, this year is an auspicious year for all Thais. Uh, we are honored uh, that we will have an opportunity to join in the auspicious celebrations of the royal coronation of His Majesty King Rama X. And I think we are all in yellow as the government has encouraged us uh, during this month until July uh, to encourage all Thais to wear yellow, which of course signifies uh, the color of the birthday of His Majesty the King. But how about foreign people? They also, if you add you wish, they can also wear, right? Of course, yeah. everyone is welcome yeah. uh, to join us on this uh, auspicious occasion yeah. to celebrate, to be joyous, mm -hmm. and to wear yellow. Madam DG, you are handling about uh, your spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So um, tell us about the, what's duty or uh, uh, some, what to be done with uh, foreign people or whatever invitation you make. Of course, uh, the uh, preparations for the coronation ceremony that will take place between the 4th and the 6th of May mm -hmm. um, is ongoing. Mm -hmm. um, the National Committee uh, that, uh, of course, is addressing the preparations nationwide, mm -hmm. chaired by the Prime Minister, General Bayutan Ocha, mm -hmm. and of course um, the meetings have taken place. For the Foreign Ministry, mm -hmm. um, we are part of that uh, committee mm -hmm. preparing for these uh, celebrations as well, both in Thailand as uh, particularly on the 4th and the 6th of May, mm -hmm. where there will be involvement of the diplomatic corps. Oh, yeah. And this is in uh, keeping in line with the traditions that have been kept um, in the past. Um, that the foreign dignitaries, particularly ambassadors, heads of missions, mm -hmm. resident and non-resident in Thailand, will have the opportunity to pay their respect, to offer their well wishes as representatives of their governments assigned to Thailand okay. to pay their respect to His Majesty the King on during the coronation uh, ceremony, uh, particularly on the 6th of May. Oh, interesting. How about the foreign dignitaries? Come into the, the, the kingdom that period of time. Is there any invitation for extended to the uh, dictatorius? Um, there has been uh, there not been any invitations extended, mm -hmm. and of course, in keeping with the traditions, mm -hmm. uh, therefore, the sixth of May is uh, the day mm -hmm. where the opportunity for the foreign ambassadors. Uh, resident and non-resident uh, in Thailand will have that opportunity to represent their governments oh, um, okay. to pay their respects uh, to His Majesty the King. Uh, this is the same that has been done in the past. I'm looking at the picture of a royals uh, from other country, monarch from other country to be here too. Maybe at a later stage to be done. Okay. So, how important and unique uh, of the institution of monarchy in Thailand, particularly for the Thai people? Of course, um, the existence of the monarchy as a very important institution in Thailand date back to more than 700 years ago. And I think um, the monarchy has always been a source of inspiration, a unifying force of the strength of the people, the pillar of the nation, and I think a source of pride uh, for the Thai people and um, its nation through the many years that we've been in existence. So, uh, um, but when we talk about, for, especially for Thai, actually, uh, our late Ramanai has been uh, recognized and they've been talked, you know, to be the symbol of the world. Yes. So, to the foreign people also. Of course, yeah. of course. Uh, many of us mm. um, has, uh, have uh, lived through the years. Yeah. We've uh, been uh, very familiar mm. and, of course, we've been very lucky, uh, particularly for Thailand, to have His Majesty the late King Bumipon Adunyadeh, mm. Rama the Ninth, um, who reigned. Uh, for 70 years, um, and of course, the Thailand has been um, guided by um, his uh, thoughts, his inspiration, 
the sufficiency economy philosophy as a pillar and a guidance on the way we lead our lives, conduct our lives, and the livelihoods of our own people. So I think we've been very lucky, yes. and I think the recognition of uh, the role of the monarchy, mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. the role of uh, the late King Rama the Ninth, mm -hmm. um, is known worldwide mm -hmm. uh, through his various activities and uh, projects, royally initiated projects and development projects. Mm -hmm. But now we are, of course, very um, joyous and very proud that um, the continuation of uh, the monarchy, the institution, with the celebrations on this auspicious occasion of the coronation of uh, His Majesty King Mahawachira um, Longkorn Bedintra Tepeyakwarangkun, or Rama the Tenth, will take place in a month's time. Well, uh, so uh, we, we heard about that a little bit of the history, but can you go down a little bit for providing a more brief history of the coronation ceremony? Of course. Of the royal yes. history. You know? um, certainly, uh, briefly, the coronation ceremony mm -hmm. is an ancient tradition. Mm -hmm. um, of course, exactly uh, the, same. It, um, it, uh, the Many of the elements uh, have been maintained. Um, it could be said that it's based on a Hindu ritual with uh, Buddhist Brahmin. and, um, and uh, of course, local modifications with performed by Brahmins. Uh -huh. And, of course, this is part of the ancient traditions. Um, a sacred uh, palace, uh, palace sacred uh, court mm -hmm. practice. Mm -hmm. I think that has been kept uh, through the many years. Mm -hmm. So we are very lucky um, yeah, to be witnessing you, this yeah, historic yeah, event yeah. Uh, because um, uh, with uh, the coronation of uh, King Rama the Tenth, it will be the first uh, since 70 years ago mm -hmm. when we uh, saw the coronation ceremony of uh, the late King Rama the Ninth, which took place on the 5th of May, mm -hmm. 1950. Mm -hmm. So that is more than 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. And this is just to take this opportunity for the foreign tourists. That particular time is a very book ticket to come to Thailand that yes. the wrong time because not only you that got to uh, witness uh, such a uh, auspicious uh, moment uh, along with the Thai people, it's going to be something that you unforgettable. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So for the Thais, uh, we will all be seeing the royal traditions, the continuity of these traditions, mm -hmm. the court practice, um, how it's symbolic, how it has contributed to the prosperity, the stability, and the unity of the people and the nation. Mm -hmm. But uh, more importantly, the elements um, that have been kept, particularly on the categories uh, relating to the coronation ceremony, mm -hmm. on the um, anointment uh, and coronation, or the Brom Ratha as okay. we know it, and the assumption of the royal residence, Thaleng um, Parachamontian. These two uh, complete the whole ceremony um, that will take place um, on the uh, 4th of May. On the 4th of May. And it's yeah. very symbolic uh, yeah. in that event. Okay. And I think this is yeah. something that would be a memorable um, event for all of us to see. Mm. And, um, of course, uh, be proud of these um, ancient traditions of, of Thailand. Perhaps we have a procedure. We need to hear about the comprehensive procedure required for the three days. Maybe starting from the water or something? Um, yes. We uh, well, you know, if you focus only yeah. on the on the 4th to the 6th of May, uh -huh. um, we will be seeing the three the, uh, yes. very uh, most important days. Uh -huh. The 4th would be the most important part of the ceremony oh, yeah. because um, there will be the royal purification and anointment ceremonies mm -hmm. uh, for His Majesty, the presentation of the royal golden plague mm -hmm. that bears the royal official title of His Majesty as the new king. Can we go for the first one, please, the, the anointment <coughs> water? So we collect yes. them the water. Can you go? Yes, the um, the, through the water, uh, of course, the water collection. Uh -huh. um, and I think um, for the public relations department and all the relevant agencies, Agencies have been providing knowledge and information on this uh, because um, each uh, province has the source of uh, water uh, which will be collected. So this will start on the 6th of April where um, all each governor of each province will preside over the ceremony to collect the water and have consecration rites. All these waters from all the 76 provinces and Bangkok um, will be coming from 108 sources of water. Mm -hmm. So all of this uh, water will be brought to Bangkok, mm -hmm. uh, will be kept at the Ministry of Interior. And then on the 18th of April will be a very important ceremony mm -hmm. because the consecration rites for this um, water that has been collected uh, will be done at Wat Su That okay. and will be presided by the Prime Minister. Not the King. Uh, the King 
will, of course, uh, have the ceremony, the pouring of this water will be on the 4th of May. On the 4th of May. Ah, Correct. Okay. Yes. So uh, we have to separate a few things. Yes, still, yes there will be this, uh, 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 a sequence, a sequence of uh, procedures. Uh, uh, yes, both uh, ritual, religious, and of course, keeping the traditions of, of the times. Well, something going to looking up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how has the government uh, provided knowledge and understanding of the historic, uh, historic ceremony and procedure to the general public? Yes. Um, uh, there are several committees that have been set up to oversee uh, to ensure the smooth preparations, to ensure the uh, smooth uh, fruition of the coronation ceremony itself, which involves many sectors uh, of the society of Thailand. All of us are joining hands to ensure that the ceremony is a success and, of course, uh, a pride for all Thais. Mm -hmm. Of course, the way we, the dissemination of information um, for the foreign ministry, um, the my department um, as DG for information, I chair the subcommittee on public relations, providing information to the foreign media and foreign communities, and uh, through our respective Thai embassies and Royal Thai consulates abroad to share with the Thai communities and with the foreigners abroad. So in that regard, uh, we uh, have uh, information that has been uh, coming from one source, particularly the public relations department, through the website of pralan.in.th, and um, of course another website, thailand.prd.go.th, uh, which provides information both in Thai and in English on the program, detailed programs, um, on the uh, consecration rites, on the water collection, um, on the ceremony itself, on the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of May. And, um, of course, the ceremony actually ends uh, on in October uh, when there is a, um, a waterborne procession because it will be a land procession um, in Bangkok on the 5th of May by His Majesty the King um, where the people can pay homage to His Majesty the King um, on the land route. But the Royal Barge uh, procession that will take place in October um, during the uh, Royal Gatin uh, functions and, and season, uh, the ceremony there will be complete the whole ceremony of the coronation of His Majesty King Rama X. So information is provided um, in, in all uh, you know social media, the website, uh, the Facebook, um, internet. Um, I think um, this will be a good source of information for all of us who are following uh, with interest and with keen enthusiasm to be able to witness this historic event. The, the data and information that to be collected in foreign countries for, for the layman, for the people to go around. So what kind of that? It will be kind of leaflets or booklets or um, what? Yes, or, um, or it, it includes, yes. Um, in preparations, uh, because um, uh, Deputy Prime Minister um, General uh, Tatai Sari Kalaya, he oversees the Committee on Public Relations. Uh -huh. So this will involve uh, the subcommittees um, dealing with the substantive uh, matters to uh, write up the uh, information mm -hmm. to be dissem disseminated mm -hmm. through uh, print, mm -hmm. through online, through radio, mm -hmm. through TV, um, and you see a series of yeah. uh, documentaries already um, um, out and aired uh, during the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the foreigners, there will be publications both in leaflets, both online, and there will be a series of documentaries uh, to be produced in English as well, um, starting from yeah. May until October. Sound nice. So please give an explanation of the emblem. Yes. For the coronation of the Ramadan the Ten, symbolic significance. Yes. Um, an important uh, part of uh, this, uh, the royal emblem, uh, on this auspicious occasion, uh, is of course uh, we are very fortunate. Uh, we that um, His Majesty the King has attached importance mm. to the design, design. Yeah. of the royal emblem, yeah. and he has improved the design uh -huh. and graciously granted uh -huh. the uh, use yeah. of this uh, royal emblem uh -huh. for the coronation of King Rama X of 2019 uh -huh. or Buddhist era of 2562. Yes. It consists of the royal cipher in the middle of His Majesty King Mahavachira Longkorn, mm. surrounded with the five royal regalia that signify kingship which means all of these five royal regalia mm. is part of the coronation, coronation ceremony that will, that, be, that will be presented to His Majesty mm. on the 4th of May. Okay. And um, of course, the, um, in uh, the real emblem, there will be uh, the real letter of cipher is decorated with diamonds, donates, denotes the origin of the royal name Mahavachira Longkorn 
where the name has been derived. The five royal regalia in the emblem consist of the great crown of victory, mm. the sword of victory, the royal fan and the royal whisk of the yak's tail, and royal scepter and royal uh, slippers as well. Mm. Each of these regalia has its own significance. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, the great crown of victory uh, on top would present represents the great burden of his majesty mm. to for the sake of uh, the people's happiness mm. that is he's shouldering uh, wow. this burden wow. um, the sword of the victory symbolizes his majesty's responsibility to protect the kingdom from all harm and yeah. threats uh. the royal scepter signifies mm. his majesty's royal virtues mm -hmm. to bring mm. forth peace and stability to the kingdom and of course there is the whisk and the fan signifying the righteousness as a ruler wishing to relieve the suffering of his own people. And lastly, the royal slippers, uh -huh. an important part of the royal regalia, signifies um, that um, that he wishes to foster sustenance, um, you know, in the message or through the royal uh, slippers. And this is, um, of course, very well uh -huh. um, represented through these uh, emblems. Mm, no. So meaningful. Yes, of yeah, course. Um, and the last part, yes. the lowest part of the emblem, you see stretches of green and yes. gold ribbon, uh -huh. um, trimmed in gold, bearing the words, um, of course, as translated, would be uh -huh. the coronation of King Rama X, uh -huh. BE2, uh, 2562 uh -huh. or yes. 2019. Uh -huh. And the right tip of the ribbon stands the purple courtesy, uh -huh. holding up a seven-tiered umbrella, uh -huh. representing the armed forces on the left tip of the ribbon mm -hmm. is the white ratasi holding a second seven-tiered umbrella representing the civil servants okay. and of course these are the two very important uh, pillars of public service to protect and serve his okay. majesty right okay so we're gonna, we're gonna come back to you here about the criteria of this usages of this emblem okay so uh, we are coming back to the end of the first part of the interview so we'll be update the preparations of the royal coronation ceremony please stay tuned in 2019, Thailand is ready for ASEAN chairmanship, working together and building solidarity to increase competitiveness and innovation with the people at the center. All sectors are ready to promote unity of the ASEAN community, and BT World is excited to be a full supporter of the Thai ASEAN chairmanship. Keep up to date on ASEAN 2019 movement with NBT World. program we are still with uh, director general putsadi santipitak who will tell us about the preparation of the royal coronation ceremony so far and adv ad advice for both uh, general public and the media so madam dg we left out a little bit on the criteria of the usages of the emblem please yes. um the royal emblem uh, which um, has been uh, improved and released um, at a press uh, conference given by Deputy Prime Minister Wisanukru mm -hmm. on the 11th of March. Um, he uh, stated that the use of emblem, um, how it could be decorated uh, together with the, um, the offers uh, or the, uh, the flag that carries uh, the emblem as well. Um, and uh, of course, these uh, formats and the preparations um, for, to, for the use can be set up at uh, the public offices or in residences uh, for those who wish to uh, set up a proper uh, format for the uh, to pay the respects or homage or signifying uh, the celebrations um, during this time. Um, but uh, more importantly, um, those uh, the public sector or any private organizations, um, if uh, they should have uh, doubts or questions of wanting to use uh, this emblem in any decoration in honor of His Majesty on this auspicious occasion, um, should seek the permission from the uh, subcommittee on the use of the emblem for the coronation ceremony, or in, which is uh, located at the office of uh, the permanent secretary 
of the Prime Minister's office, the telephone number to contact to seek permission for the use of the emblem is 02-283-4228-9. So um, this will be the number if you wish to seek permission to use the emblem. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it could be uh, decorated in a proper format, format mm -hmm. um, as you may be find on the websites. What about the, the public council? They are entitled to do it or they are allowed to do it? Yes. Or their own free will that they can do that? Yes, uh, private houses, okay. um, of course, uh, may, may decorate uh, the flags carrying just, just flags the, carry the emblems. Yes. Yeah. If uh, they so wish to uh, decorate the emblems, mm -hmm. it has to be uh, done in a proper format. Mm -hmm. um, as without permission needed. Uh, without permission yeah. needed, uh, yeah. but with the proper format. Proper format. Yes. Yeah. Proper placing. Yes, yes correct. Okay, so let's uh, update uh, the latest update of the preparation of the uh, ceremony, please. Yes, all preparations are going well uh, accordingly mm. uh, and has been uh, so during the past uh, few months. Mm. And uh, the many important activities mm. have been arranged um, and well prepared both at the royal, the state and religious uh, ceremonies. As we discussed earlier, yes. um, the earliest yeah. part of the ceremony is the uh, water, water collection from yes. the different water sources. Uh -huh of the uh, 76 provinces plus Bangkok yes. and um, uh, to, in order for His Majesty to, uh. to uh, pour this water um, on uh, the 4th of May yeah. and um, this Where is it's very... Where is going to pour? Yes. Um, well, let, uh, if, if I may just run down do. um, the details yes, of, uh, of uh, the, the ceremony yes, during the 4th, yeah, 5th and 6th of, of May. Okay. Um, the 4th of May would be the most important date okay. uh, of uh, this uh, three-day coronation uh, ceremony because the royal purification or the Song Muratapisek ceremony, a very sacred uh, ritual, refers uh, to the action of pouring of the holy water over the head of the king oh, to really? his feet, by who? Um, or known as uh, would be done by, by a Brahmin, Bra Brahmin uh, 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 chief. Uh -huh. And um, of course, this will take place at the Jakapat Piman royal residence. And of course, um, there will be another part, which is the anointment ceremony, to take place at Pai San Thaksin Throne Hall. Mm -hmm. Then, um, at Pai San Thaksin Throne Hall, His Majesty the King will proceed to Patrabit Throne, the throne itself, mm -hmm. uh, where he will sit under the royal nine-tiered umbrella, uh, an image I think we are all very familiar with. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, His Majesty the King will be presented by uh, the Brahmin chief, the royal golden plague, uh, which has the inscription of his uh, the royal official title of His Majesty the King, he will be His Majesty will also be presented by the uh, royal regalia, the ancient and auspicious orders, the weapons of sovereignty after the crowning and investiture ceremony. His Majesty will then present his first royal command. And of course, um, in the that in the afternoon, he will also grant an audience uh, to members of the royal family, the privy council, the cabinet, as well as senior officials and representatives of the diplomatic corps, to express uh, their well wishes to His Majesty the King. On the same day, yeah. on the, the, at the proper um, uh -huh. hour, uh -huh. the assumption of royal residence will also take place mm -hmm. at Takarbat Piman Royal Residence. Mm -hmm. It means that he, His Majesty the King, will. Uh, officially uh, reside um, at uh, this uh, residence. All these steps uh, from the anointment, mm -hmm. uh, the purification, mm -hmm. uh, the assumption of the royal residence constitute the complete ceremony which uh, makes His Majesty assume the full powers and duties of kingship. Mm -hmm. So I think the highlight um, is the 4th of May yeah. uh, when in Thai we refer to Somdet at the moment, he will be Prabhat Somdet Prajayuhua as of the 4th of May. Right. Um, so there is a particular significance of uh, Jubilee and celebrations for all of us. And on the 5th of May, um, the, uh, the important event would be the Royal Land Procession, where His Majesty uh, the King will be riding on a royal palanquin so that the people along the route can pay their respects. Um, I think it will be a, 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 a beautiful historic <laughs> moment, uh, a beautiful sight to view wherever you are in the world. Um, His Majesty the King will proceed from the Grand Palace en route to uh, three very important temples, uh, the Bawani Wei Temple, Rajapapit 
temple. Oh, anyway, this is located uh, Wat uh, Bawan near the uh, Banglapu Aquarius. Yes. yes. And Wat Rajapapit, uh, okay, not too far. Uh, and then Wat Chetupon, or the Reclining Buddha Temple. Uh, At uh, all these three temples, uh, His Majesty the King will pay homage to the main Buddha statue there. And, uh, and then the route, he will come back to the Grand Palace. This will be another important highlight for the public to be able to participate in and uh, join in the celebration. On the 6th of May, um, at uh, 4.30 p.m., uh, there will be a royal audience granted by to the public from the balcony. His Majesty the King uh, will be will be um, at the balcony of uh, uh, Sutai Sawan Prasad Hall in the Grand Palace. Prime Minister uh, General Bayutan Ocha will lead uh, the cabinet uh, and representing the Thai people, both in Thailand and abroad, in at the same time paying the, uh, our respects and wishing His Majesty the King uh, our well wishes, our humble well wishes to His Majesty at this hour. What is a, a, a spectacular event, another memorable event, is that the uh, the um, paying of respect of by Prime Minister Prayutan Ocha will be broadcast live to all uh, wow. the embassies and consul generals abroad at the same time. Um, so that the people, the Thai communities, in wherever you are in the world, if uh, you join uh, the uh, event that is hosted by the embassy or the consulate general in each respective capital, you will be joining in the same event as those in Thailand. I think it will be uh, something that is a memorable event for all of us. Uh, wherever you are, you can pay your respect and join in this uh, joyous, uh, auspicious occasion. It will be televised real time, and um, you will see the proper functions, uh, the display of uh, contentment, of uh, joyfulness, um, I think of happiness uh, for the Thai people everywhere. And then later on at 5.30 p.m., his Majesty the King will grant an audience to the members of the diplomat diplomatic corps um, who are residing both in Thailand, ambassadors, consul general, honorary consuls, and those uh, non-resident ambassadors um, to come to Thailand uh, in, uh, to join in this auspicious occasion of paying the respects uh, to His Majesty uh, the King. Correct. Each of them. Uh, they will be all be uh, oh, gathered in the same hall. In the same hall. Yes, and of course uh, the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps will um, uh, offer a, a speech. Yes. So these are very important, um, I think, events on the three-day um, uh, that is that are being planned according to the royal traditions, according to the uh, sacred court practices, and I think uh, for the Thai people will be an important part of our lives yeah, uh, yes. for us to, to remember. And as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. uh, the completion um, of the whole ceremony will be done in October mm -hmm. uh, during the royal uh, Gatin uh, period. Oh, okay. uh, of course, uh, it's the, the offering of the monk robes uh, um, at the end of Lent season. Uh, the Royal Barge Procession uh, will take place from Tawa Sukri Pier uh -huh. to Wat Arun, or the Temple of the Dawn. Okay. Um, there will be 50 barges um, that will be um, in the uh, river uh, with uh, 2,300 oarsmen rowing the barges, uh, presented on the barges, and you will witness uh, the scenery, the atmosphere, mm. where there'll be rhythmic barge uh, rowing songs, um, part of all the important tradition of this waterborne uh, procession. Mm. I think it will be a rare, spectacular uh, ceremony. And of course, all this land and waterborne ceremonies exhibits the glory and the power of uh, the monarch in accordance to the traditional beliefs and court traditions handed down through the many generations that we are proud of. Wow, what an anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for that. Yes. Okay. So, uh, any advice? Because I think uh, such a sequence of that is like so important, and and there might be some restriction to the way of uh, the way they dressed, uh, atta, and the way they stay. Right? So, what? Can you suggest for that yes. uh, advice then for the general public yes. to be in that For case? the general public, of course, uh, information has been provided through various channels, mm -hmm. television, radio, um, online, and internet. So I would uh, advise the general public uh, be, be um, attentive to all the information that's provided mm -hmm. because there will be roads that will be closed, uh, traffic will be restricted okay. in the main areas mm -hmm. of, um, circulating uh, the, the Grand Palace and the vicinities. But transportation, 
I think shuttle buses will be provided for the public mm. to be able to join in uh, the ceremonies during the dates that I have mentioned. Mm. So I, I urge uh, that uh, the public uh, follow the news uh, attentively and they can also uh, witness the rehearsals of the land procession, mm. particularly on the 17th, 21st and 28th of April. Mm -hmm. So uh, you want to add up anything that uh, behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, where are you going to be? Um, we will, uh, of course, um, be taking care of the foreign ambassadors oh, yeah. and consuls generals um, that will uh, be coming to the foreign ministry before they depart to the appropriate um, functions. And uh, of course, we will be taking care of uh, the communications with the foreign media in cooperation with the public relations department mm -hmm. to ensure that the coverage is worldwide. Well, wish you all the best. We are ending up a program with great thanks to Ms. Butsadi Santipitak, Director General of the Department of Information and Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being here, Kapunka. Thank you very much, Kapunka. Ending up our program with thanks and looking forward to see you again.